Hey, hey, hey! A child who expects explanation of a proverb said to him has made nonsense of his mother's bright price. You understand, ma? They will tell you proverbs. Now I'll be looking for who will explain. You know, get sense. Your sense is far away from you. Hey, hey, hey. When I heard this particular matter, I was running, I was jumping. I said, let me come and run and share with you people. Because this one passed me. This one, eh, he passed my power. What is it? Kilo shele go, go, go. According to information, they say, Oloru Peju is prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
for this very particular one, Miriam said it's painful. It's painful. It's paining Miriam no be small. At a point, me, I'm not even feeling for herself. I'm telling you guys. I'm feeling for Miriam like, who does that to Miriam? It's not nice. You know, you people know that Miriam feels um, she's the alpha and omega of Kabiesi's life. She's the author and the finisher. She's the only one that will say a thing that will come to pass in Kabiesi life. But she never knew that Kabiesi never even sent her. So my brothers, my sisters, so, me, I'm even shocked. So they said uh, one of the king now got angry and went to ask Kabiesi that, and Kabiesi, why did you impregnate Peju? They said, Kabiesi said, ah, is she pregnant? They say yes, they say she's pregnant. And Kabiesi now said that, if she's pregnant, that is highly disappointed in her. If she's pregnant, why did she tell him? But if she's pregnant, why didn't she tell him that she's pregnant? Why is he not hearing him from somebody else's mouth? And they are like, it's not the matter of hearing it from somebody else's mouth. It's the matter of why would you do that? And uh, that the answer Kabiesi gave, that the answer was so shocking to all of them. That the answer was so shocking that Kabiesi said that he's helping humanity, as in uncle be coming down. Which kind of humanity? Who send you to help humanity? You understand? So a lot of people say they are disappointed in Kabiesi. A lot of people say they didn't see this coming. But at the end of the day, I tell people that they say out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. So it's out of the abundance that Kabiesi is speaking. So it's out of the abundance of Kabiesi's heart that he's speaking. Anybody that did not see that will let the person go and sit down because Kabesi cannot continue to do this. Because at the end of the day, let's even rule out Naomi in this talk. That's what I want us to do. Let's even rule out Naomi in the whole of this talk. Is Kabesi not hurting himself at the end of the day? Kabesi is hurting himself. It's just that he does not want to be sincere. If he wants to be sincere, this man will tell you people that he is not happy. Any man that is looking for validation is the one is the man that does these things KBC is doing. Any man looking for validation is the man that will do these things that KBC is doing. But if you are not looking for validation, you will not do half of the things that KBC does. My brothers, my sister, it's not a small matter. It's not a small shoot bed, mama fly you. Ha. When I heard this particular one, I said now wow. Is that how they do in this place? Hey. Is that how they do in this place? Hmm. 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 Please, oh, let her give birth to. Let's come and eat rice in the garden. Let's come and eat rice in the palace. Because I don't think anything is remaining than to come and eat rice. Can be as you've tried, though. You know, if you buy yourself, you tried for yourself now. If you try past like this, within day. My brothers, my sisters, oh, this is the information I heard. Oh. I said I should come and let you guys know what's happening on social media street. See you guys later. Do where to subscribe, like, comment, and bye for now.